Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to complete the puzzles on Durlag's Tower Level 1 in Baldur's Gate 1. So, this video here is only going to cover Level 1 and I've already cleared all of the enemies and all of the traps or at least most of the traps. That way I don't have to waste your time with all of that. I can just show you how to do the puzzles. If you want to see how to do any of these puzzles, uh just that specific puzzle i have videos on my youtube channel as well which covers each individual puzzle instead of the whole floor like this video covers so in order to advance from floor one to floor two you need to solve the four warder puzzles yep, this way. and uh in Durlag's tower you can find the four warders in the middle of the zone here you can see the four little dwarves standing around this uh a well i guess it is i'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be it looks kind of like a well to me and uh each gives you a riddle and asks you to solve their puzzle. So we're going to do the easiest one, or the two easiest ones first. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to solve this one here. Let's what see. Would you have? All right, this all guy, right. he says, I am the warrior's curse. I steal his future. I mar his past. The more he has, the less it seems. He becomes a slave of glittering things. So he wants uh, Smash Mouth's album uh with all star on it or whatever the song is where he says all that glitters is gold way. so jokes aside what we have to do is we have to go, we have to go to the treasure room here and we have to click on this big pile of treasure you can see it has glittering bell belgeral gemstone in here take out the glittering belgeral whatever gemstone and then go back here and talk to this guy and you'll solve that water puzzle that one's easy peasy just like that so let's go back here you can see uh, he's like, okay, you've completed it. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome, little dwarf man. In order to complete uh, Durlag's Pride, what you need to do is... Uh, hold on. Let me figure out which one is Pride. Do I need to read the riddles to you guys each time? I think this one is Pride. Yeah, that one's Pride, I think. I'm not going to read the but riddles to you each time. You're a queer fellow. So in order to solve Pride, what you need to do is go up here to this room... Which what Imuin is standing in and you'll notice there's four books you can click on when you mouse over each of them There'll be a little uh, question mark appear like this I've done and When I click on it, you this. see I get like a little pop-up Click on all four books like that and then you'll get this when you read the final book you hear a click as if something has been activated Go into this room here, and then you the uh, the sword will talk to you Do the little question mark thingy on the sword hold on let me there you go. And get this little pop-up. What you want? And that should be all you Hurry need. Up. Let's talk all to this right, guy. All right. Yes. Okay. And just like that, pride has been yep. completed. So now there's two left. We've done two, and there's two left. The next one we're going to do is love. So in order to I've do love, the first thing we need to do is go down to the treasure room again here. And we're going to take the odd-looking key out of the smaller treasure pile here. You can see two treasure piles in the room. We're interacting with the smaller one. We're going to take the odd looking key out and then we're going to go into the master bedroom here. Let's wait until the trap. There we go. That was a noble deal. Disarm it. And then we're going into the end table next to the bedroom. And we're going to take out switch for an engine. In addition to that, we want to go into the closet and we want to steal Durlag's wife's panties. And also trigger the trap. Jokes aside, we're going to take the grapes. There's no panties in there. I care not. Sadly, I guess. So take the grapes and the odd key, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to this engine room here where there's like a little Thomas the Tank Engine choo -choo tree. What we want to do in Thomas the Tank Engine's Choo Choo Train room is go up here to the to the second floor. Huh, Sorry, I'm full of stupid jokes today. Go up to the second floor here where the little train engine is and see this little bulge coming out of the wall? What you want to do is cup the bulge and grab the shaft and left click twice and so you see this the engine begins to hum now keep in mind anywhere you see this in the game like if you uh i'm pretty sure this video will show my cursor uh you'll see two arrows that are kind of pointing to each other in a circle this lets you know that you can interact with something in that area to click on it and it's going to come in handy for a few more quests here so over here, you can see in the little, uh, I guess it's called the brewer, brewery, in the, uh, in this room, what you want to do is, is you it? want I'll to go over to this what wine press and left click I've the wine press. You'll see the same this. little circle arrows pointing to each other. 
click it once and it'll say that it has no power and it's not working then just click it again and it will work it'll uh combine the grapes that we had and put them into a bottle and make the wine that we need so uh we're not going to talk to this warder yet because he's the last one that we talk to once we turn in the love thingy then he uh spawns a boss fight so next thing we need to do is we need to go up here to uh this uh barrel left click on it and you'll see inside there is a mallet handle this is the first part for the uh the fear warder i'm pretty sure it's yeah it's the fear one grab the mallet handle and the next thing we need to do is we need to go all the way into the northeast you'll see that this is little library room usually there are uh three greater doppelgangers in here so be careful going in if you've not been in here before and you've not cleared it out. As you can see, there's also going to be a few traps on the uh, bookcases. This southern bookcase is the one that you need, and in it, you're going to find the mallet head. Take that. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, cup the mallet head and grip the shaft, and we're going to... Uh, whack the shaft multiple times against this anvil here left click the anvil twice like we did with the wine press and it'll say the gong mallet is now repaired and ready for use by the way that anvil is all the way in the uh the northeast area of derlag's tower you can see it's all the way up northeast and we're going to be going to the southwest over here to use the uh the mallet that we just repaired on the gong so the gong is in whatever this room is Stand in front of the gong. You'll see, much like before, the little uh, arrows or yeah, arrows pointing to each other in a circle. Click the gong once, and you'll see that it does a uh, emote for you, letting you know My that you successfully did it. What would you have if you so now let's talk to yep, both of the warders. First, this one. This is the uh, the fear warder. I completed it. Now there's one last uh, warder left right here, and this is the love one, the, uh, which we have already completed. Once we give him the uh, love wine, um, he will spawn, well, the other three warders will respawn, and all four of them will attack us. If you are playing on story, or if you're not playing on story mode, you should keep, keep in mind this is going to be a difficult fight. You may want to pull your characters out of this room and uh, fight these dwarves in another room. The reason it's a difficult fight is because of that poison gas right there. It'll knock your characters down, but if you're playing in story mode, it does nothing. In order to proceed to the next floor, you will need to pick up this ward stone that they drop. Uh, in order to proceed to the next floor in Derlag's Tower, almost always, you're going to have to pick up those ward stones. And uh, you don't need to identify them. You just need them in your inventory. And then that will allow you passage to the next floor just like that. And that's all there is to it. Uh, if I got anything wrong, left anything out, or uh, you guys know a better or faster way of solving the puzzles on the first floor of Derlag's Tower, please let me know in the comment section below. Aside from that, if this video did help you out, please leave me a like because that does help me out. Aside from that, I will catch you guys around in my next Baldur's Gate 1 video. Peace.